Good afternoon, everybody. This is a long time petrol head here again. It's 20 after three on Saturday, three February. We've had a reason, a reasonably warm day for early February, but don't worry, that's forecasted to change tomorrow to be uh, more cold and more wet for us. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna try to make this film as brief and to the point as possible. Uh, what you see on the screen before you is Virgil, my 2000 Chevrolet Silverado, half ton version, extended cab, two wheel drive with a step side bed. I bought him at a used up car lot in Prattville back in 2008. He had around 85 to 87,000 miles on it. I'm trying, I don't recall right off the top of my head. And now he's just uh, three miles over 208,000. And back then when I bought him, Virgil looked a lot better than this. You can tell he's had a rough life by the paint on the vehicle, up there on the roof, the doors, minor damage to the front fender where it was backed into. Paint on the fender wells above the rear tires. It already had a bed liner sprayed in when I bought it. Some moderate damage here on the rear fender uh, just past the wheel well. That that whole panel is that whole panel is going to need to be replaced. And the paint on the doors. Look up there, look up there and see the roof. Minor damage on the door there. And uh, paint condition on the hood. Paint and clear coat coming off. You can see how bad the dashboard is. I've never tried to abuse Virgil. Try to take care of him, but mishaps have happened over the years. As I said, this is a extended cab truck. Put all four of these doors open. The two on the passenger side open as well, uh, driver side open as well, just like the passenger side here. And, uh, but you can see the da the uh, interior is kind of taken apart right now. The center console is out. I got to finish removing this piece down here underneath the dashboard. But it all started with removing, taking this panel down to remove the uh, actuator motor there for the the temperature there in the middle, that middle dial. Um, the actuator motor on the driver's side that is operated by the mode select uh the mode selector here i'm sorry i was looking at the fan speed by this part here that's still working but this one up under here wasn't so started pulling the panel down to replace it and uh had my left hand right down on this part of the carpet here doing something and it got wet i know this truck has its windows up. I always park it with the windows up and it locked. And about a week ago, I got out of the driver's, that passenger side here after my second boy had been driving and I could smell coolant. And uh, so later I looked all up under the hood in the engine bay there. By the way, this got the big 5.3 V8 in it. But anyway, um, didn't see anywhere up underneath the truck or inside the engine bay for a coolant leak until I felt that whole area down there to be soaking wet. Tells me the heater core is leaking. So, shorten that part of the story up. This whole dash is going to need to come out to replace that. And while I'm at it, I'll replace all the actuator doors I need to just so there'll be new ones up under there for the future. And, uh, but Lord willing, uh, my plan is to get Virgil looking back the way he used to when I bought him. Um, just mainly a cleanup restoration. 
fix the interior where it needs to be. Uh, it's not going to be a frame off, nut and bolt rotisserie. It's still a truck. I still use it to do truck things. I'm not afraid to put stuff in the bed. It's not meant to be a status symbol. It's a truck. So um, underneath there is some rust on the frame, but it's just surface rust. I don't have any chunks of frame falling out, no rod anywhere. So hopefully just some good cleaning up and some poor 15 that I could spray or brush on everywhere I can up under the truck there will make the frame look and last a, a little better. So as this project goes along, I'll try to give you updates on what I'm doing. And of course, I'll be starting with the interior there first with what I need to do for the HVAC system. But anyway, for whatever all this is worth to you, thanks for taking the time to watch. If you got any comments or advice or tips or whatever, feel free to leave them down below. Mash the thumbs up or the thumbs down if you want. And uh, if you feel like it, mash on the subscribe button too. But anyway, Hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll be back to you again in the near future. I'm out.